Growing up, I couldn't compete in sports. I couldn't run. When I would try to keep up with the other kids, I was passing out. The majority of my life, I had a heart murmur and went to the heart doctor and I had to have a heart surgery at nine years old. I found out I had a bicuspid aortic valve. I took care of myself because I knew I had an issue. Eventually, I would have to have surgery on my heart. I went to a dance class with my girlfriend, and when I got home, my ankles had swollen up huge. I called my doctor, and they said, go to the emergency room. And I came in, and they f found out I was in severe heart failure. I had to have surgery. I had already researched my options at that point. The Ross procedure, no one in my town does that, and so I had to get a, a referral. I got an appointment set up to see Dr. Kaniko, and he was very open with me about the procedure, about the risk. I knew I was in the right place. The Ross procedure, you harvest that right side pulmonic valve and then implant it in the aortic valve. And for the pulmonic valve, you substitute it with what we call a homograph. For younger patients who has very long life expectancy like Chris, it's a great option for those individuals. I was very honest with Chris that he can have this surgery safely at Barn Jewish Hospital, and he was comfortable with moving ahead with the procedure. I almost waited too long because I don't think I would have survived a few more months if I would not have gone to the emergency room. I, I actually think it saved my life. With this particular procedure, he should be able to get back to his normal life. Not only that, he should be able to do much more than what he was able to do before. Life after surgery has been great. I think it was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life, but it was worth it. I've always wanted grandchildren, and I didn't know if I'd ever live that long, but now I know maybe hopefully see my grandchildren get married, so. As the months go by, it just gets better. You know, I'm 57, and uh, it's like I'm young again. <laughs>